Hey, hey, and welcome back to Bloodborne. So, let's run into this boss fight and see what happens. I think I want to... Yes. Okay, here we are. So this is a wonderful beast named the Dark Beast Parl. And he's not fun. Ow. Um. Uh-oh. Okay, so we did good there. That's a good thing. Actually, I'm doing pretty good damage because I think... You're kind of supposed to fight Parl, like, earlier on in the game. And here we are now. Like, we well ahead. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're, we're going to try our best to kick his ass and see what we can do. So. Ow. God. Ah. Uh, whoa, okay. Um, the biggest thing with Parl is you want to stay close to him because most of his attacks are kind of um, big swoopy, swipey attacks. Ow. Oh god. He <laughs> and he shoots electricity, as you can see. Oh my god, fuck off for a second, dude. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second! Jesus! Uh, I died. He was not letting up at all. What a fucker. But, I mean, I didn't hit him very many times, and I did some pretty good damage to him. So, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> So the worst part about fighting Parl when you are in this area is that no matter what, you have to run back through this area. And this area totally sucks. Like, when you're in Hypogen Ghoul, um, Gaul, Gaul, whatever the hell the fuck you pronounce it, um, you don't have to worry about running through this area. You're pretty much in this area right here. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, not as uh, shitty having to run through all those dudes. But... Oh well. It's still an easy path through. I know it well enough, so <laughs> we don't have to worry about it too much. But, um, yeah. Here we are back again. And let's see how I do this time. Hopefully I can do better, because that was not that great, but... Oh well. Here we go. Let's see. And, uh, as I was trying to explain when he went fucking buck wild on me, um, with Parl, you don't want to lock onto him. Because he's such a big target and you get kind of uh, fucked up if you lock onto him. God damn it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to aim for his legs. And you want to stay closer to him. Because he's easier to manage when he's cl when you're closer to him. Ow. Not, I guess apparently not that easy. Jesus. I'm doing really bad here. Ugh, I can't. He's so spindly. Oh, oh. That's not good. Did he drop? No, he didn't drop. Ah, fuck off. Jesus. Give me a second, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. He's gonna hit me again. I'm done. Oh, shit. I'm not doing that well. Ow. He's very fast for such a large beast. That's the worst part about it. Oh, fuck off. God damn it. And the worst part is... Oh, God. That... You can fight him at, like, a low level, but man, it sucks. Did he... No, he didn't, but what the hell happened there? That was weird. Okay, there we go. What? What? How come I... What? Why didn't I touch him? That... What? That didn't make much sense to me. Okay. Hit him. Thank you. Hit him once again. Nope, nope. Okay. Thank you. That was great. Fucking dick. Oh, what? What did I get hit by? What the fuck was that all about? I'm doing sh so horrible. Oh, come on. Give me a fucking break, dude. God damn it. Fuck him up. <sighs> the one thing about the uh, hunter's axe when you are using it two-handed is that you get a lot of these stupid, like, uh lunging attacks and man does it, they suck I should really be just using yeah see I don't know why I'm not using it like this because it does way better because it's crisscross attacks it's not lunging stabby attacks like it is when you've got it two handed worst part is you have to do all this dodging to get close to him and then you have to fucking worry about moving around him because he's so fucking fast whoa whoa He's got lightning. Go grease lightning, cruising up and down the road. Uh-oh. Okay. That was fucking close. 
he's almost dead. One more hit. There we go. Got him. So we got him on the second try there. <laughs> Whew. And we get our blood echoes back. And the nice thing is that we get a lamp that we can light. So as I stated in the previous episode, you can get into the... Um, this is how you access old Yarnum. So, uh, this is like the back path to old Yarnum. Um, maybe I'll just run in just a little bit. Um, I don't need to give you a tour. It's kind of late in the season for giving you a tour of, uh, old Yarnum. It is, uh, at, currently at this moment under construction and, uh, it'll be closed for the fall season. So, uh, maybe try again next year and, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> All right, enough of that. So now we'll head back to... Um, you know what? I'm going to do some leveling, and then we'll catch you back at Yarho Ghoul Chapel. So we'll catch you in a bit. All right, we're back at the chapel, and now we're going to make our way back through this path. Um, you know what? This actually might be a two-boss episode. We'll see how I do, but we're going to make our way back through and then I'll access the new area. And this new area is not fun whatsoever. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's go for it. Here we go. So we take this path here. This is how, this is the path that we took to open the, uh, the door uh, that I just ran through. And now you get to see <laughs> the new enemies, giant corpse piles in little tiny boxes whatever the hell they are and this area right here has some of my f the, my favorite absolute favorite armor set the Yarhar ghoul um armor set and it the only reason why i love it so much let's see if that dude is oh yeah he's after me now these guys are fucking horrifying and they can do tons of damage as you can see holy shit i forgot about how much damage they did and yeah they can one shot you no problem okay so here's the new area now I'm not going to show it to you because it fucking sucks and I'm just going to run through it as fast as I possibly can. You can see those needles being shot at you. They're from uh, those dudes there. Uh, the skull box men. I'm going to try and grab this real quick and keep moving. Keep moving. You kind of keep weaving your way in and out and they, they have a hard time hitting you. <laughs> so hopefully you can do this without getting too much damage. And, oh, we're just going to chill here for a second. Oh, I'm going to call a hunter. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, did I just... Yep. 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 <laughs> See? I was warning you about those fucking skull box dudes. He hit me twice, and that was it. I fucking died. <sighs> brutal. That is fucking brutal. <laughs> here we go. So I picked up all that shit on the way, which is nice. And then I'm going to actually access the the hunter as well. Because I want to. Cuz that I that's that's something new that must must have came with the new update and the um, old hunters DLC cuz I I'm pretty sure the old hunters DLC alters the game into where you get uh, different different summons and things like that and different items. I've noticed uh, it must have been a patch recently that I I missed out on, but yeah, I'm uh, quite impressed with all the new stuff. It's uh, keeping me on my toes. So here we go back through this area. You know, I should have equipped my favorite armor, but we'll do it after. Uh, so we'll back through this area, and as I had stated before, just kind of keep moving and keep weaving. Uh, you gotta weave your way through this area. Ow. See, that's what happens when you get shot at. Uh, those fuckers hit hard. All of those box fucking skull people they hit so hard and they are just fucking relentless and that's the absolute worst part is they are just fucking relentless and I hate them with a passion okay here we go so we'll ring it ring a ding and then I'm gonna try and get the fuck out of there yep made her okay we're good and here we go this is the next boss fight
Oh, God. What is it? It's horrifying. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. I don't think they could have made this thing any more grotesque. Oh, man. Yeah. And welcome to the One Reborn boss fight. And, uh, we can do a couple of things that make our lives a little bit easier. So what you want to do is you want to get to the opposite end of the boss fight and climb the stairs, which is in the far corners. When you climb the stairs, you get to see these bitches, and you want to kick the fuck out of these bitches. Why? Because the whole time you're in this boss fight, these bitches shoot shit at you. They're shooting fireballs at you the whole time. So, it's easiest if you kill them first, and then, uh, then you proceed with the boss fight. Now, I'm not sure who I summoned, but someone, someone summoned, and I'm not sure if that they're actually in the boss fight at this moment. But, uh, I guess we'll wait and see. Oh, no, there's damage. Who is it? I didn't... I can't read his name. I wonder if it's Damien again. Our good... F no. Antol? Antol? Oh, Antol is getting his ass kicked a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to be joining him soon. And you kill all the bitches. And when you kill all the bitches, guess what? Your life is that much easier. All right. Bitch is dead. So here we go. This is the double boss run episode. Okay, so with the one reborn, he is fairly simplistic. Um, you want to stay at this end, uh, the end with the larger legs. It's kind of hard to tell which end you're at, but um, when you stay at this end, he can't really do too much to you, except for that. That did a lot of damage. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, he actually doesn't have that many attacks. He doesn't really do too, too much. Uh, he does things like that, like AoE, garbage guts, you know, but you just want to... Oh, no, sorry, I'm at the wrong end. Because this end, you can get fucking stomped. You want to fight this end here. Now, let's take a look-see. And whenever he rears that end, you want to move away from him. Uh, so, simplest way to put it, stay away from the end that's up. Go for the end that is uh, aiming downward. So, because I think he's kind of got like two heads going on here. Yeah, just go for the, the end that's aiming downward. As you can see, we're fucking him up already. He's not that difficult. Uh, and as I s stated, keep to the end that's facing downward. Whichever end is facing downward is the end that you go for. And that's the end that I'm going to keep attacking. <laughs> Because he hasn't switched ends yet. Uh-oh. So we get out of there. That's his big AoE. So we're doing good. He's very slow moving. Um, he doesn't, like I said, he does not have that many attacks that do much. Um, this goop stuff is AoE as well, so you want to get out of it. But he doesn't really do too much with it. Uh-oh, my buddy died, but that's okay. We're like three quarters of the way through this boss fight, so we're doing good. Oh, 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 get away from him. He's thrashing. That's not good. Heal up. And whichever end is the back end, that's the one you want to go for. So, this is the back end. And we get away from him because he's going to do his AoE. No. And he switched ends again. See how he stood up with that other end? So we just keep switching back and forth. And take your time. Take your time. He's not going anywhere. He doesn't move very fast, so take your time. And just watch him, watch, see what he does. Be patient, don't lock on. You know, typical Dark Souls stuff. He's ugly as fuck and he's slow as fuck, so he can't really do too much. You can see, like, when the orbs are, like, hanging out above you that you can get hit by that f falling gunk. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry too much about it. It's slow. He doesn't... He's just slow. Slow and kind of sad. Falling gunk, yeah. Uh-oh. Get out of there. <laughs> See, 
he can. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I got locked in a corner there, so I gotta heal up here. Okay, we're good. Falling gunk. Get to the other end. And just keep moving. Um, he has a really hard time targeting people. Keep moving and go for the end that's down. <laughs> I'm just seriously, like, saying it out loud to keep myself doing it. Because if I don't, then I'm going to get fucking stupid. Okay. So, yeah, this is the boss fight. It actually, um, what's his nuts there? All, all Mant? Al anal, anal Man? Whatever the fuck his name was, he uh, he did he did okay. He 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 served his served his time, and he did his just justice. I don't know. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oop. Is he gonna rear this end? No, he's good. He's good. He's being real good. Oh, I gotta switch. I can't. Yeah, I can't rightfully. Dude, maybe you do more damage with yeah I don't know I just don't like the pokey attack the one where he stabs straight out that I feel like that's so ineffective you have to be fucking up close to, up close to your boss fight anyway or <laughs> up close to the boss anyway so you might as well just go with one-handed of course you don't do as much damage so fuck it we're going for it he's raising the other end now Whatever end is raised is the end that's doing something, so that's why you get to the opposite end. He'll do these moves, and you can see those little jiggy legs kicking away there. But, uh, oh, did I fucking stun him? I think I did. Here we go. Almost done. A couple more hits. Oopsie. Uh-oh. Don't get crazy. Here, last hit, I think. I hope. No, one more. And we're done. There we go. Two bosses, one episode. Hey, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> yeah. Right on. And after all of that, we get to touch a new lamp. So let's touch it. Yay. And with that, I'll catch you in the next episode.